you are welcome you are about to listen to god's word and we hope that you are going to be blessed so but please before you listen do it to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so and don't forget to like comment and share this video god bless you maybe before you go let me interject here with what amplified bible says he said now the lord god said it is not good it is not sufficient it is not satisfactory that the man should be alone it is not sufficient it is not satisfactory it will not bring the yield you may be great you may be energetic but there is something that is not good enough in your being alone, in your working alone, in your acting alone. Before she will get into dealing with the how does God want to respond to that, which is the next point. Uh, I thought if we think deeply, that marriage, as we are going to be saying now, is not cosmetic. It is because without it, something is not good. I don't know why you are getting me, sir. Something is not sufficient. It's not satis satisfactory. So the, that's the first point that we need to take note of. One of the challenges that is making many to think less of marriage and they are thinking that I can do without it is because they are approaching it from the uh, I would like to say that they have looked at it from the ordinary superficial level. But when you will begin to look at what will be the gain of marriage or what will be the what will be the damage if I were to be alone. So if you permit, can we check why is it not good for the man to be alone? Look at what uh, Ecclesiastes said. Let's check it very quickly and see the issues that God has raised and saying is not good for a man to be alone. Let's quickly look at that from verse 9. Is anybody in the congregation that want to help us check Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9, verse 10, verse 11, and 12? We need to quickly abreast ourselves with that before we go on. Yes. Who is reading? Yes. Two are better than one because they have good reward for their labor. But if they fall, one will lift up his companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls. For, if, for, he, for he has no one to help him up. Again, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one be warm alone? And verse 12. 12. Though one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him. And a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Thank you. There are, how many things here now? There are four issues. Four cases that the Spirit of God is advancing. Why it is not good for a man to be alone. Number one, it says, two are what? Better than one. Because even for their labor, they will get what? Good reward, good output. You might think that what you are doing is great. 
wait until you combine with your wife. The result is not double. The result is manifold. It's a one we put thousand to route and two we chase ten. It's not just that the two we chase two thousand. That two coming together they will chase ten of thousands. They have good reward uh, as men that have been called into God's work, into ministry, we want to tell you that two are better than one. That the output, the result that comes out of even your labor, when the two of you work together. Now, it's possible that they are, they are married, but they are working separately. That doesn't bring the reward we are talking about. It's possible that this one goes this direction, that one goes that direction, and everybody is doing their own things. They are just one, one, one individuals doing different things. They don't get what we are talking about here. Two are better than one, for they have good reward for their labor, even for some choice result of ministry, of life, of what you do together, God is saying two are better than one. The second point, he said, if they fall, the one we lift up is fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls. Which means the kind of two we are talking about is such that can lift up the other one. So when she will be talking furthermore about God's response to this need, you begin to see that even the woman that God is going to bring or talking about is not the one that cannot lift up the other one. Up. It's not the one you put on your back so that when you fall, the two of you just fall down, just like that. No. But we are noting that God forestalled a fall. When God does not want a man to fall, what does he do? He gives him a wife. When God wants a man to last, he gives him a wife. When God wants you to have a shock absorber in life, that you enter into a bomb and your bones are not broken, what he does is not to bring you cushion. It's to give you a wife. Praise the Lord. Did you see the third point? If two lie together, they have heat. Eh? They have heat. They have warmth. Warmth of fellowship. Warmth of relationship. Warmth of conjugal relationship and warmth of companionship. How can one be warm alone? And some of you don't know that your husband is looking energetic outside there. But he's cold. He needs a blanket. That blanket, are you hearing me? Is not all this... Uh, all this one that you are, we are wearing now. God brings a woman into a man's life to keep him how warm. In every direction of warmth. Maybe when God brings us back tomorrow and we are dealing with practicality of this, we will see how that comes in. Your husband needs a, a blanket and you are that blanket. If, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You see, I'm always talking too much about this thing. That even a woman needs a blanket. Bro? All right. We go from there. Then the, the fourth reason why it's not good for you to be alone is warfare. Spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare. 
if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him. If two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything, and that too, as far as I'm concerned, we're going to talk about that later on, is this basic too. You don't know why? These two, they are the ones that could perfectly agree if they will agree. Because they share one life. These two, when we come back and we're dealing with what does that mean, becoming one flesh, you will soon discover that you could go anywhere else and agree with people in prayer. It actually carries no weight if the basic agreement is not here. The first person to agree with and it will be an agreement is your wife. So any of you that are doing something and you and your wife you are disagreeing all the time. You raise an issue, you argue with it and they go, well, I'll be doing it. Me, I won't do it my own. You are not serious. You may be doing nine VGs. When God comes down, he said, who is making noise there? Say, so where is the second signature to this request? He said, well, don't mind my wife. Don't mind her. I said, ah, all right. Keep pending. You know that many of your prayers are pending. Heaven is still waiting for the second signature. Please go ahead now. Yes. We believe that God has blessed you through the message and the God's word you listen to. So please, we want you to subscribe. We want to comment and share your testimony with others. We also want you to like the, the video and share with your friends. God bless you.